Hey everybody! In today's video, I'm going to combine a lot of things. Alcohol ink, acrylic paint, collage, foiling, miniaturizing your gel press prints with alcohol ink. Very fun. Very squirrel brain, but that's okay. Now I'm working with the new Alta New refills for their alcohol markers. This is fantastic. I had just gotten their alcohol markers and now we have refills to go with them. So that's what I'll be using for my alcohol ink today. I want to show you some previous pieces that I actually created for my retreat. This is what the finished product will look like and it's very fun and easy. The cool thing about working with alcohol ink on your gel press is it goes fast. It dries really fast, so you have to work fast. So the first step for this, I call it impressionist collage. I like the impressionist look that you can get by combining mediums on a gel press. So the first thing you want to do is put acrylic paint on it, and I have way too much paint on here. So be very sparing with your paint. You'll see me wiping it off on my mat. And then I'm sort of squeegeeing, actually. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. Getting rid of the extra paint until you have an almost transparent layer of paint on your gel press. That's what you want. You want to be able to sort of see through it at the end. I'll go the other direction. Make sure I have everything off. And this is a point where you want to work fast. This is why I took the lids off of my alcohol refills for the markers. You can do this with any alcohol ink. And I find that two applications of ink is about it. But look at that beautiful sort of impressionist look that you get. This by itself would be a great print, but we're actually going to do all sorts of stuff to this. But feel free to use this just for a background for your card. They're really, really pretty. I'm using the C set of refills today. So I'll link you to those so you can see the colors and you can see how pretty that is. You do want to make sure that you pull your print fast enough that not everything on it is dry. The fun thing about this technique is the layer of acrylic paint underneath the alcohol actually buys you a little bit more time. The only thing you need to hurry up on is actually applying the alcohol ink to the paint. I found that after two applications of alcohol ink, if I brayered any more on there, it would start to lift the whole thing. And that's not what I wanted. So I try to add in just a max of two additions. Now, doesn't that look like a Monet? I think it's just awesome. So you just want to rub it, just normal lifting technique. If you have too much paint, you won't see much of the alcohol ink. So I'll lift that off, and you can see how beautiful that is by itself. Now, another bonus of using alcohol ink or alcohol marker refills is your prints dry really fast. So I can basically start the next section almost immediately. You do want to cap your ink refills when you're not working with them because they will dry out. That's just their nature. So I'm going to put the caps on them. Also, you might knock them over on your desk and we don't want that. Now I'm using my 5x7 gel press today and you'll learn something interesting about this. So I'm going to trim the white space off. Excuse my voice. I have an allergy right now from all these tropical storms. So I'm trimming it down and I'm going to eventually get this to card front size. And the technique that we're doing means I actually won't have very much left over. 
So first, you want to tear it up. And if you like your print, this will take some courage. But I say just push through it because sometimes tearing things up and then making them small makes them really pretty and focused. So be brave, tear it up. Or it's also a great technique for fixing or saving your ugly prints. And I'm doing air quotes that you can't see right now. So if you have a gel print that you're not impressed with, this collage technique will make it beautiful again. I promise. This one's fun because it only has two colors, so it'll be fun to put together. Now, to collage it, you just want to take a card front, cover it with matte gel medium, and start sticking the pieces down, adding more gel medium if they overlap, and just collage them on randomly. It's okay if some are sticking off the sides. You'll just trim that off. But I just take pieces about the size of a fingernail-ish and tear the paper into those for the collage. And like I said, they dry really fast, so you don't have to sit around. You can start tearing things up immediately. And it's kind of therapeutic, just ripping things to little shreds. I don't know what that says about me, but it is what it is. So there's my little pile. Perfect. Now, through the magic of television, I have taken both of those prints and collaged them, and they are dry. I'm using Liquitex Matte Gel Medium for a collage medium. It works great. It dries really fast, which I like. But you can see these tiny piles that I have left over. So you actually need more paper to start with than you think, because I started with 5 by 7 and these are four by five and a quarter cards. Now I have a toothbrush and some glue, just white glue. And I'm going to randomly brush glue onto the front of the collage piece. This is so much fun. Can't really see it yet. But whenever my toothbrushes get old, they come into my craft room and I use them for stuff like this. Now I have a piece of silver foil that I'm setting on top of the card front. And I'm just taking an old credit card. I have boxes of these. And burnishing the foil onto the collage. And now I have random little pieces of silver foil attached to my collage. I chose silver for this one. The pieces I showed you in the beginning had gold because those colors were a little bit warmer. With these cool colors, I thought the silver was fun. You can use the same piece of foil over and over again. Just pick up different places that haven't been picked up yet. And you get a truly random foiling, which I adore. I love that sort of mixed media look to that. But we're still not done. Still not done with this piece. So I'll do the same thing on piece number two. I'm going to be a little bit more generous with the glue this time. Now be sure and rinse the toothbrush out after you do this and don't mix it up with your own toothbrush. We can't have that. But it rinses out easily with water. So I'll do this again. You can actually see through the foil in the places where the foil has already been removed. So you can sort of move the foil around to where it needs to be if you're missing a few pieces, which I will do now. And if you have the glue covered with foil, you don't have to worry about it being sticky in the end. So I'll position sort of a newish unused piece of the foil over that glue that I just added and pick up a few more little spots. This is so sparkly in real life. Very pretty. Now look at that. That's so fun. This can be die cut. It can be cut into little squares, which is my favorite way to use it. Something about vignetting a larger print down into a little square or a circle really focuses the pretty parts of the piece and makes them pop, more so than using this whole background would. 
So that's what I've done with these samples. Come on over to my blog to see these cards and some more information about these new alcohol marker refills from Altenew. Thanks so much for watching.